All right, it's Mike Zipser with Fast Forward here for another one of our Skype chats. It's our only our second one. And joining us all the way from Seattle, Washington, is Laura Ann Gilman. Laura Ann, welcome. Hello. Thank you. Uh, why don't we start with the big thing, which is your new series, which is coming out early October 2015. And for people that are watching this far in the future, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Okay. Um, the title is Silver on the Road. It's the first in what we're calling the Devil's West series. And it is, um, I, I stumble over this because this book means so much to me. It is an alternate history magical epic adventure um set in a american past where the louisiana purchase never happens so there's this entire territory of north america that is never under french control never under spanish control so never sold to the u.s at the time of silver on the road it is the frontier it is wild People, stories are told about how if you go there, you have to sell your soul to the devil in order to survive, that magicians and demons walk the land. And all of that's actually true. And this is the story of Isabel, who is a young girl when the story opens, who uh, has come of age. Her indentured uh, term has ended. She has to decide basically what she wants to be when she grows up. And she makes a decision, and the story is how she realizes what that decision actually means, both for herself and for the territory around her. Um, I refer to this as the, the epic adventure with a cast of four, because it has all the big scope of an epic fantasy, but at the same time, it's very much the story of Isabel and her mentor, Gabriel, and the devil, who is her boss, and how all of these these personalities are creating a new history for us. So she's someone that when she says, my boss is the devil. She really means it. She mean, yeah, yeah, it's the truth. Um, and it's fun playing with the character of the devil because he's not at all what you expect. Um, and he's not, he's not what anybody expects. And you had a, a little bit of it up um, on your website. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I got to say, it was really good. I, I read that and it was like, I didn't want it to end. It's like, now I've got to wait for the damn book to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put up the first eight or nine pages as a teaser uh, at my website. Uh, just to, you know, whet people's appetite. I've been doing readings and, and such. Um, and everybody's kind of like, oh my God, I want more. And it was funny because I first read what would become Silver on the Road at... Um, Science Fiction Writers of America does this um, regional reading series. They have one in the Southwest. There's one out here in the Northwest. And two years ago, I read portions of this before I had a book deal, when it was still just me going, oh, my God, can I write this book? And the response to it was so amazing that, you know, in the year that it took me to write this book, I kept going back to that moment when everybody said, oh, my God, when can I read the whole thing? Um yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's just that little bit i read it 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 moves you along and the reviews the uh have been very good yes the reviews have been hitting all of the elements that i really wanted readers to get which is the fact that this is a story about choices about responsibility about justice and also about how all of these things are mutable and um what we think might be set in stone or what we think, you know, once the die is cast, you, you can't go back. Actually, everything's always changing. Yeah, uh, and it's got, I've got to say, it has got a beautiful John Jude Palancar cover. It, amazing. I, I'll be honest, completely blunt, he was not the artist I originally wanted. Uh, I had a different idea, and then they sent me the sketch, and I went, holy yes, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah, John is one of my favorite artists. I love his stuff. We have two of his, two paintings of his at our house. Um, and, it, and it looks great. Um, we were talking about the cover. Actually. Oh, there's the cover. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, and you've got a new Danny story in the Sylvan Investigations, a new novella coming out. 
In Oct in November, yes. Yeah. Um, Sylvan Investigations is a spinoff from my urban fantasy Kosa Nursadama series. They're novellas, um, fantasy, urban fantasy PI novels. Uh, I love them. Which, I love them. <laughs> I, they're great fun to write. Danny is a one, Danny and Ellen are wonderful characters, and I publish them through Bookview Cafe, um, right. and then they go off to the, the usual uh, Amazon and so forth. But they're they're great fun to write. Yeah. Well. We're, we're out of time. Uh, thanks for taking time to talk with us. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, I can't wait till I get hold of Silver on the Road. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, nine, 14 more days, I think. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>